Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with another vintage um, jewelry or vintage necklace haul. So these are actually two separate orders. One, I think it has like 10 necklaces or so in it. And then after that, I found one that had 35 necklaces and they're all fantastic. And I got it for $32. I got it for less than a dollar a necklace. So I had to, I had to do it. Um, so I'm going to go through those with you today. There's a lot. This is, if this isn't your type of video, I totally understand. Um, and I'm actually gonna be harvesting beads because I know I'm not gonna wear all of these 32 necklaces. Um, the funny thing is, these necklaces smell exactly as you think they would. They smell like my grandmother's jewelry box. I don't know why I can just pick up that smell from old jewelry, I don't know what it is. But I will be washing some of these beads. So I'll start with the smaller haul first. It actually came in second, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I bought it first and it came in last. <laughs> But um, so these are called kukui nuts um, and it's just a nut that is drilled um, and turned into a bead. These are actually really good quality ones. Some I think they've probably been lacquered or something. Um, some of the ones I have are pretty lightweight. These are pretty substantial. I will see like that's got some schmutz on it. I'm going to un... Um, ribbon these <laughs> take them off of the ribbon they're on um, give them a soak and then put them in my bead stash these were wood mo prime mostly primarily wood beaded necklaces so that's what you're gonna see this one is the reason why I bought it I actually saw um, a home deck youtuber find something like this at a Goodwill and she did um, like a home deck uh, thing with them I'm probably not going to do that, but I really have been obsessed with them since I saw that video. So I finally found a necklace that had a bunch of them on it. Um, this one I will be taking apart. These need to be rinsed as well. And when I say wash beads, I'm not saying like I'm putting them in the dishwasher or the washing machine or whatever. I just take them off, put them in a strainer. Some I just rinse with uh, lukewarm water or cold water. Some I, if they're like really greasy or dirty or smell bad, I will use dish soap and swirl them around I don't like scrub unless I need to um, and I don't really do that with all of my beads because they just don't need it um, but stuff like this where there's an odor or that we saw like visible schmutz that's when I, I do it so yeah I will be taking this apart and washing those this is so cool like uh, I was never really into coconut wood until like the last couple of years. I didn't even know what it was really, but apparently people have been using it for beads for a very long time because these are vintage beads, but we've got some really nice rondelles. Um, sometimes they're a little rough. These are very nice and, and sanded. Um, I don't remember the name of this wood, but I have some beads that look like that, but not this shape. So that's a, a new shape to me. Some nice rondelles. These are really cool. Um, I could absolutely leave them like that, but I think maybe they'll be painted. Not maybe the whole bead, but maybe some stripes or dots or something. Some more rondelles, and then this big end right here. That's a big mama. So I think the easier thing with this necklace would be just to put it, I have like a vintage necklace drawer, would to be either put it in there because I'm, I know I'm, I, these are all wood beads, so I don't need to separate them, or I can just put them in my wood bead drawer. The thing is, I probably need a third wood bead drawer at this point. Um, these are so neat. Um, I got more of those, like these chips that I was searching for, some really nice coconut wood rondelles. Again, another one of those beads. Um, even, well, I guess those are the same rondelles, but look, I just love that most of these carved animal necklaces are not the same. Um, they're different in some way. The, the animals are painted in a different way, carved in a different way. I don't know maybe this is a cheetah it's almost like a like a fantasy carved animal instead of like something that you know exactly what it is because it kind of looks like a rhino right there but rhinos don't have spots <laughs> and then we have I don't know I think this is supposed to be a giraffe but he doesn't have spots so maybe it's a deer I don't know it looks like a giraffe so like I said it's more like a fantasy animal versus um a realistic one and then this pretty cool like this definitely screams 80s to me love it and <laughs> look this is definitely old I would have to maybe patch that or something but I wouldn't just toss it because it's cool oh and then we have a carved bead right here um, here's some of the baggie 
This one is kind of interesting. It actually is very nicely done. It looks almost, I mean, yes, there is some wear and tear on here, but that gives it uh, character, but the rest looks pretty untouched, pretty new. I could just slip on, I mean, really this I could just wear, but I could just put a um, pendant on here if I wanted to and be good to go. Like maybe wire wrap it around this bead and have it hang down. I might do that. That's like a simple, easy way to get your pendants on a necklace. So it's something that you would wear. Um, I might set that one aside. I don't think I'm gonna harvest that one. Now I was pretty excited about this one, but when I got it, I was less excited. These are handmade paper beads, but whatever finish is on here over time has degraded. It's kind of yellowed and browned itself and it's it's not gummy. It's not gummy, but it's not like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not not gummy. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm ridiculous. Um, I definitely want to salvage these, whether that's through painting them or sanding them a little bit and trying to get some of that finish off. But I think the beads are just fantastic otherwise. Um, yeah, and I, you know, painting them might help them save some, save something from the landfill. Um, just a couple more from this one. We got this one. It's got some really cool, very large, um, ping pong size ping pong ball size orange beads so they've been dyed or at least stained some really nice rondelles this one will become um, I, I will be taking this apart because this is a, it's a miracle this thing hasn't fallen apart miracle it's just like cotton thread so I will be taking that apart this one I don't really know what this is it's not wood and it could be polymer clay, but I just feel like it's almost heavier than polymer clay would be. And the sound, it feels like ceramic. I think these are ceramic and somebody just painted them instead of glazing them. Or maybe it's a matte glaze. Either way, love them. I think what I would do, I'm going to leave them on here and I'll probably just put them in my purple drawer, to be honest. Um, but I think what I would do with these is hit them with some gold or silver or bronze or some kind of metallic wax paint to bring out the details and all the dips and, and dents. But I really like it. I, I don't, I wouldn't wear this as a necklace like this. Like I would definitely piece it out. But like I said, there's no reason for me to take it apart when it's already on a string. It's just going to go into my purple drawer. Um, and then for this order, there were two bone necklaces and I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how great they were. Um, this one has a ton of bead caps on it and bone beads um, in wonderful sizes. Like these are pretty large. So, and they're old, like you can definitely tell they're old. I think these need to be rinsed a little bit. Um, and then I am going to be harvesting this one for beads. Um, in my last video, I think the way I harvested beads, like the way I filmed it was way too fast. I think I'll just film it at regular speed and then speed it up in editing. So it's going to be a little bit slower than it was before. If it's again, a bead harvesting isn't your thing. I totally understand. So yeah, that's cool. I think this actually has a really cool clasp. So I'll be keeping that clasp too. It's just not my style of a necklace, my style of beads though. Funny how that works out. <laughs> and then, but not least for this order, this has a huge African bone bead. And I, I, I'm assuming it's African because that's definitely how a lot of the African bone beads come. And then look at these big squares. These are expensive at the bead stores. And this is, this is an old, old necklace. So not only am I going to get some really spectacular focals, it's got some really nice smaller um, bone beads on it. And I actually have made um, I think that triple strand necklace for, that I used uh, beads, ink beads from, used these. And then look, some nice older spacers. So we'll be, we'll be taking that one apart too. I'm going to be taking a lot apart today, I feel like. I'm in the mood. Um, and then, okay, so that was the first order. Now we're going to go through 35 other ones. 
These were actually surprisingly in great shape considering they just threw them in a box. <laughs> Didn't really package it well. This one's going to be harvested. I just, I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. Um, I like these older beads. This one's fantastic. I just don't, don't like the way it was put together. Not my jam. This one, I feel like it's just, I, I feel like this one had a pendant on it and it fell off and somebody was just like, all right, well, I'll just donate it somewhere. Um, I think it would be really great if I just added a pendant to it, to be honest. I just don't know what pendant to add. I'm not going to harvest this one. And it's got a cool, like, clasp, but I can't get it undone. So I think this is just going to go in the vintage drawer for future inspiration. This one was, like, super surprising on how cool it is. It has these acrylic beads, but these are cork. I have, if any, very few cork beads. So just to see, like, a whole thing of cork beads is awesome plus the staining stain color on these wood beads is really nice it's like an orangey brown um so i will be harvesting everything from this one i haven't decided on this one yet it's mostly bone but it does have some gemstones on it these are stone um so we have hand carved bone we have metal beads which are really cool more stone and more it's just a ton of different things i don't think as is I would wear it like this but I'm not sure so I don't think I'm gonna take it apart because I'm not sure because I can always add like a really cool pendant to it I don't think I want to take it apart yet this one um, really cool coconut beads not very flashy I don't know what type of bead this is it's too light to be bone and actually now that I'm looking at it, like you can see some acrylic but I don't know, I don't think it's all acrylic. And I don't know what the symbol on it is. This one um, I would definitely repurpose. So when I was looking, I wasn't too jazzed about these in the, um, in the pictures, but once I got it, it was so cool. Um, there are actually two of these in here. And they're acrylic beads, they're painted, but they're way bigger than they looked on the, the photos on Etsy and while this person or on eBay while this person had better photos than I'm used to on eBay they were still like eBay quality not the best they're just trying to get rid of their stuff right so um I wasn't expecting these beads to be this cool they're so vibrant and they're big and I kind of want to keep one and then harvest the other but I don't know which because they don't have the same colors they, they they're very similar but they don't have the exact same colors on each one this one's cool just because of how like large these beads are. I'm waffling between har harvesting and keeping this as is. So for now, I'm not going to change it because maybe one day I'll just need a big honkin' blue necklace. I mean, this is, these are wood. They're just gorgeous. Beautiful. This one has some really cool painted beads on them, giving me some ideas for future painting beads when I have, you know, more time to paint beads. <laughs> um, it has three focals and then the rest, I think they're, no, they're painted wood. They're just really um, nicely sealed. So I thought they were plastic for a moment. Um, this one will definitely be a harvest piece. This one's just a tiny necklace. Um, I'm just gonna harvest these beads because they're kind of cool. And I like the bead caps on them. This one I was on the fence about, but I think it's because um, in my last video, I, or in one of my last videos, I told you I don't really like like recycled fabric um, uh, that I can't wash. So these I'm not too jazzed about. Um, like thrift store clothes, fine. That's totally cool. But like these, I'm just, ugh, ugh, kind of grosses me out a little bit. Um, but these are really cool and I'm, on the fence as to what they are I know these are acrylic we've got some picture Jasper in the middle and then these are metal coated acrylic this is wood and I think this is also resin um, I don't know if this is ceramic or resin it feels like ceramic but it also feels like you know what, I think it's plastic with a really 
weird coating like resin but a really weird coating um, and then I really like these crackle beads so this will be harvested for sure just a regular old wood necklace that'll go in the wood drawer or just the vintage necklace drawer I guess because I don't have room in the wood drawer <laughs> this one will be just future harvest although it is kind of cool it's not something that I can picture myself actively choosing to wear on a daily daily basis it's just a little boring I like the design just the color is just meh here's another one with some animals we've seen the elephants before they're so cute I love them I just have a weakness for the wood animals, especially the anim uh, the elephants. This one, um, I love it. I love it, but I'm har harvesting it because we've got a lion here, at least what I assume is a lion, um, probably like a zebra here. And then I just love these focals. They're so cool. Three or two different color woods. And then... Um, We've got some cones, just some kind of beat up beads that I really like, some longer beads. This would be really cool with some stripes and dots or something. Um, so yeah, this one's going to be harvested. This one, I really like the discs, but it's not special. I wouldn't keep it just like this. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't wear it, but I really like these larger discs and the larger wood beads. This one I'm on the fence about. Um, I really like it I really like it it's very vintage looking very well not even like vintage it's like to me like vintage is like 50s but I realize that 80s is vintage I realize that like late 90s is vintage at this point but 80s doesn't seem scream vintage to me like 70s and before screams vintage to me because I wasn't alive then um but I love the colors in this I just don't know that I would wear it as it is so this one's a dilemma i'm not going to take it apart right now it's a bunch of agate and possibly some aventurine i love it i just the way it's put together is not my favorite um another one with some really fantastic saucers and focals it's just kind of boring um love these i mean putting these with like turquoise or african beads or um carved focals or something that's going to really jazz up these beads just putting them with a bunch of other wood beads not my jam so this one is really cool but again i wouldn't wear it like it is so it has these artisan well they're i don't even know if they're artisan but these old metal beads and the um welding points or the so soldering points um are kind of jacked up i mean they're they're getting rusty they're getting um crusty uh and the metal is wearing off the plating is wearing off i um recently patinaed some brass in it with like real patinas not vintage patinas and it looked amazing i think that's what these are destined for um because i love them i i don't know what to do with all these tiny seed beads i really don't because i'm not going to use them so i mean i, I don't know and then this, they've got some interesting bead caps on here so that's definitely going to be a harvest piece. I don't think I'm going to harvest all of these on today's video, but I'm going to do some. This one, I kind of already have an idea for this bead because it's just so, so cool. Um, I, I want to maybe hang another pendant underneath it and then go from there. I like these wood rondelles. Um, these are some kind of seed or nut. They're very cool um, and kind of expensive in all the stores and some more wood oh we have a huge bone donut here that's cool actually that could go above oh look at this that could go above that and then have something hanging and then i build a necklace around that oh my gosh what some of maybe some of those other large bone beads my brain's going crazy my brain's going crazy <laughs> um i always love this style It is so much fun. It's just graduated discs, and um, I would love to just put a huge focal and then call it a day. Um, this, I don't know what this is. It, it kind of has the same properties of coconut wood, but like not the color. And it just doesn't seem like regular wood. So 
Let's see if I can find a coconut wood piece. So I'm wondering if, yeah, this is the same type of wood. I'm just wondering if these are like standard dyed or something. Let me know if you know that, because this is definitely the same type of wood. They're awesome. They're awesome. I feel like a big like turquoise piece would be cool or just like a big glass bead. And I do mean big, like that big. We're getting close to the end. <laughs> I'm getting going for 20 minutes. Um, another just plain wood necklace with some cutie babies on it. Some little elephants. I was going to say aliens. Elephants. Um, more wood beads. This one. Um, I feel like this is a horn, but it also feels like wood. So I, I can't tell you what that is. I'm just thinking horn because I can kind of see through it here and it just seems a little more dense than wood, but I could absolutely be incorrect about that. And then we have some nice little gemstones. It's a little, I don't know, there's some toyancy in there, but that could be from dye. It kind of looks like agate, but there is some shininess going on. So. That one's, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I'm not going to wear it. I would definitely harvest the beads. This one, again, more, um, these are more paper beads. It's different. This is the different uh, haul, though. Um, different lot, though. Uh, again, a little just gross. So I, I'm going to look into maybe how to rehab these a little bit. Maybe sand off a little bit. Maybe paint them. Who knows? If you know, let me know. This one is so cool. I would never wear it like it is. Well, never say never, but it would definitely be a layerable necklace, but I'm gonna take it apart because we've got tons of like, like yes, they're kind of tarnished a little bit and kind of the plating's worn off, but I like that. And um, so this is like a acrylic bead. This one I feel like is metal plated acrylic, but it actually could just be metal. Um, and then we've got some cool bead caps and then look at that big mama. That's a big mama. I love that. So, and then I have some smaller beads that look quite like that, that are metal plate acrylic. So I love this just for taking it apart. This one, um, definitely would just take this apart, uh, and use them here and there. It definitely needs to be washed for sure. Some more just really quality coconut beads. Like, I haven't seen really nice coconut wood um, beads like this before that are round and so well done. I feel like the look these days is more choppy and that's fine because I love that look but I just like I said I haven't seen ones this nice before. This is almost something that I would just want to throw um, a pendant on and go. Um, so I'm going to leave it put together for now. I'm not a huge fan of these. These I've had, I've seen this shape since I was a little tiny kid. Um, but I really like that necklace. So this one is funny because all the components, are, um, separately I love, but together I really don't like this necklace. The cool thing is I'm very excited to change the patina on this. I think I'm going to wash it um, and then I'm going to patina it with my new patina method. Um, it's not a new patina method. It's just new to me. Um, and that's coming up. I want to make sure, try and make that video this weekend. Uh, but like I said, all of these components together don't like at all. Like these colors together kind of make me, they give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I don't like fall and I feel like this is definitely a fall necklace. Um, so what I'm going to do, even like as beaded chain, I would not use this, these colors together. Like these beads have to come apart or I'll never use them. Um, so, but there are some really quality beads on here, like some nice lamp work. This one's a wood painted bead. These are, you know what? I thought they were acrylic, but they're copper. Um, these I love. They're like little pieces of candy some more copper and these look like marbles they're so well done so you know this was a very beautiful necklace when it was made it's just not my style and it's actually from I think the limited yeah so it was probably a pretty penny 
but she's she's gonna she's destined for something new um, again just some coconut wood this will just go in the drawer these are some really cool focals that I haven't seen no point in like taking that apart if I want coconut rondelles I'll just grab it I mean it's kind of like just strong at this point um, there was one broken necklace in here and I they're just a bunch of loose beads but nature did it for me because I would have been taking that apart I don't even like these are just kind of gross um, acrylic beads and some tarnished or the plating really wore off of those so I don't even know if I'll keep a bunch of those beads this one I was also surprised about because in the pictures it didn't look that great again I'm not a huge fan of these colors together but um, I might keep this as just be this was a, a multi strand chain necklace pretty standard but um, I'll probably just keep the chain and I would maybe put these in my beaded chain drawer these are bone by the way they're dyed bone I can just tell and um, I might just put them in my beaded chain drawer I, I just don't see me using these colors together it's not like even if I challenged myself the result while it might be pretty I just wouldn't wear it because I don't like these colors together <laughs> so um, maybe I'll just put the beads in my bone drawers and walk away um, and then let's see oh you know I had two of these and I don't know oh here they are okay so these are very similar they're wood and they're dyed or painted um, little elephants so I think I would remake one with a different focal or maybe just turn the focal and then hang something from it um, and then I'll probably harvest beads from the other or I could just harvest the beads and make something completely new because again color palette not my thing I love them all the colors separately together not my favorite so one one necklace left and I think it's so cool and I wasn't expecting it to be this cool it's more bone so we have these nice rondelles this huge focal more carved over here and then more bone up the side but then the middle is this focal and this actually was originally glued I don't know why they they made it like that but um, I will just end up e 6000ing that back together sanding it a little bit and then gluing it back together so I had fun going through those the second time I'd already gone through them because oh 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 you know what I have two more I forgot these were separately wrapped and very similar to some of the metal or the wood necklaces I got in the last haul and I have one quite like this in my stash so I will be harvesting beads from this so we've got a, an elephant we've got a beautiful large bo uh, batik bone bead lots of different wood beads throughout um, a, a zebra a rhino look how wonderfully carved he is look at that and that, that it hasn't broken okay Brittany don't break it I was just like gonna be like oh and then, then it had a hasn't broken gosh um, cute aggression <laughs> and then um, a leopard or a cheetah or something and um, a giraffe who has all his legs so when the last one I had didn't um, and another batik bone bead and then very similar okay so this one the rhino has a um, eye pin coming out of his belly uh, I don't I don't know that these move oh they do so I could really just like cut that out I could um, put a head pin here and make it just a pendant but I could also hang something like a tassel or um, more beads or a donut or something and then we have another chunky zebra I feel like whoever makes these necklaces just or cart makes these zebras just loves making chonky zebras Cause look at that baby belly right there <laughs> um, and then we've got some kind of animal very roughly carved um, a rhino on this one and his his um, horn is very nicely done more batik bone a lion and another giraffe so when I tell you I have my hands full I have my hands full because it's like look at this mound 
Okay, look at that mount. <laughs> um, so let's start. I'm gonna get. Um, I'm gonna get like a sectioned bead tray, and we'll start the harvest. <laughs> Okay, after that one, I changed my mind. I am going to speed it up to the speed um, that we had before because that just took, a, like, it took longer than I thought it would. Um, but we've, I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of beads. Look at these focals. They're so amazing. And I am keeping these together because I liked my idea. Um, we got bone out of this one, two different, or well, three different types of coconut, some seeds and some more wood so I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and do the next one All right, what you see here is two necklaces, but I've done four so far and already I feel like the amount I paid for all of like these 45 necklaces is worth the amount of beads that I just got out of four necklaces. So <clears throat> I still have a huge batch of stuff to go through, but um, like these are expensive if you wanna buy them by themselves. So just think about that, like a hand carved, um, giraffe is not cheap now the other thing is i know some people are going well they're vintage you should keep them together i promise you you can go to ebay and find these or poshmark or mercari and find these all over the place like literally the exact same ones with these um uh batik beads the carved everything you can you're not gonna i'm not cutting up a priceless artifact okay <laughs> so um and I already have a necklace actually that has this look. Actually, I have several. And um, so I want to use these. Like these beads are so cool. Now my hands are ridiculously dirty already. 
Um, but I think when using these, that's when I'm going to wash them instead of like bulk washing the necklaces themselves because um, I might not get everything. The other thing is these are kind of cool. These are, I, I don't know what they are. I thought at first that they were wood, but I think they're kind of some kind of seed. So I think those are really neat. Um, I don't know what these are. They're very soft. I think these are seed too, actually. Um, a couple of these, when I was cutting the um, stringy material, chipped and cut, uh, broke. So that's okay. But for the most part, got a lot out of that one. All right, on this one, I'm so glad I decided to take both apart. These are actually bone. I thought they were wood, but these are um, dyed bone. Um, I've got some really nice uh, gemstone chips and then some nice carnelian too. So I'm very, very happy. I think I'll make some earrings. Look at this little baby. Oh my goodness, so cute. Um, but I think these would be really nice, funky earrings. So I think look forward to a video on that because I want to do those pretty quickly. Um, yeah, and then just some matching dyed green bone beads and some really good um, metal spacers, vintage metal spacers. So happy with that. All right, I didn't realize I wasn't filming. Um, so I ended up gluing that on. I just sanded it with a reliefing block. Um, this is not a little bit more coarse than a regular reliefing block. I just got this from Amazon, it's for your nails. Um, so I just sanded the each edge and then put a little bit of E6000 on and smooshed them together and twist it until it looked good to me. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and then I'll put it with the rest of the beads. All right, with this necklace, I was really not impressed with the way it was strung. Like I was just like, oh, those beads are boring. But these are actually really cool and I love this shape. I know I don't have any shells that are like shaped like this. So I'm very excited um, that I took this one apart. Yeah, I just have some basic black and white beads. Actually, some of the basic beads I might put in some mixes or um, de-stash at some point in my bead group, who knows. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about those. And um, yeah, at this point, my hands are looking pretty gnarly um, and gross. Uh, if you want, you can wear gloves, but I don't wear them um, for a couple reasons, just because I'm a little, a little lazy when it comes to finding my gloves. I have no idea where they are. But the main reason is um, we tend to get a little lax when we're wearing gloves and not remember that we shouldn't be touching other things. But when my hands are dirty, I know not to touch things. <laughs> like. It seems like a little thing, but I know like my hands are gross. Like don't touch your face. Uh, sometimes when we're thinking gloves, like it, it doesn't compute or we end up touching other things. Like right now, I'm not, the only thing I'm touching are my tools, um, my phone, which I will wash later and the sink when I go to wash my hands. I'm not touching like my nice beads. I'm not touching Goldie. I'm not doing anything like that. So we might forget that if we're wearing some gloves. If gloves are, if this is just like a little gross for you, that's fine. Wear gloves, do what you need to do, but that's why I'm not wearing them in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so I'm surprised by this necklace. These are plastic, they're acrylic. Um, and that's why I don't understand when people hate on 
plastic beads because the, uh, that whole time I thought that these were bone. Now, retrospectively, they um, are a little lighter than I expect the, the bone to be, but they look good, especially with those bead caps around them. So check out some plastic beads if you haven't, but um, these are really nice. Um, I'm going to keep everything separately because I don't think I would restring it like that. Um, so I got a couple different types of bead caps in a few different sizes. And um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, I know that looked a little complicated, but it was easier for me to like connect wood to wood instead of taking every single thing apart. I just, every time I undid one, I connected it to one of the same kind. Um, and then I'll just put them in their respective drawers uh, or in the beaded chain drawer. I don't, I don't know. So I'm more likely to use a bunch of brown together than I would have been with brown, cream, green, orange, things like that. I just love these beads. They look so cool. Um, and then this guy is going to be experimented on. <laughs> Little update, I said when I was going through these necklaces that these were acrylic, they're stone. I was very pleasantly surprised. Okay, I've hit a wall. I'm sick of <laughs> sorting for now. I made a huge dent. I actually, because I filmed it, did this way more quickly and efficiently than I would have if I ever just stuck these in the drawer and said, oh, I'll get to them someday. Um, so here are the ones that I have left that I wanted to turn into, like that I wanted to harvest. So one, two, three, four, I actually only have six left, so maybe I'll do them tomorrow or something, but I'm not going to do them on video. I think you've seen enough. <laughs> and let me know if you like this video. It actually took me a very long time to do um, because it was just kind of labor intensive. And um, in case any of you are wondering, that's from the batik bone, the char on the end of the wood on that bead. It's kind of stained this. Um, but I had, I mean, I had fun. I'm just tired of sorting and I want to do something else. <laughs> So um, those were the ones I have left. I have, of course, all the be the necklaces that I didn't want to harvest in a different box. And I have a full, and I do mean full, bin of beads. Like, there's no way on God's green earth that I could have gotten this many beads for the price that I got the necklaces for. So it is definitely a win, and I still have more to harvest, like look at this and there and some of these are like very expensive these are normally pretty expensive beads like i said you know an amulet like stuff like this so i had a lot of fun and there's more to come if you like bead harvesting or bead sorting videos let me know i'm more than happy to do more of them and uh if you like vintage necklaces let me know if you don't i'm sorry there are tons of other videos i have i think i just checked and there's over 600 other videos on my channel which seems ridiculous, but there you have it. And 200 of those are tutorials. So 
Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for Goldie. Let me know what your favorite part was. Have a good one. Bye-bye.